Hey guys, this is my Xbox One S. I know it looks like a lot to take on, but uh, I got a lot of things in this and there's reasons why. Um, don't worry, it's just a bunch of cooling mods um, that I did just for a better frame rate and better quality. I was tired of my games glitching and while some of the stuff is, you know, from the game itself and some of the bugs but I was noticing that you know my console and some of the newer games coming out you know even if they make them across platform for Xbox One S and Xbox One X like the Series X ones um, that they weren't running great so and one of the things that I noticed is that when I first put in the game and I would start playing that uh after about 30 minutes the quality of the game just started getting kind of crappy and on some of the newer games it happened <laughs> within 15 minutes um so the first thing i did was you know i did the normal thing i changed the compound on the machine and my fan was running correctly i think i went to best buy and bought this stuff um i got the uh xtm 50 the good stuff I put the thermal paste on and, you know, continued playing, and it kept doing it. And my fan was, you know, blowing enough air, you know, as much as it could. And uh, so what I did was first I uh, went on YouTube, and I was looking at this one gentleman that uh, I guess fixes consoles and stuff, and he was recommending a couple different ones like the quiet ones uh, and then he, he off recommended like a jet flow 120 i put that in there and uh it's still you know with the factory pwm signal that comes out of the connector it's all it's kind of in here this area it would still get you know 130 degrees 135 degrees at the apu um so what i did was i took a project box I built this little contraption that is affixed to the console and uh, this here is a LCD temperature gauge that has a probe in the fins of the APU it's kind of hard to see with the uh, fan blades <sighs> yeah I can't really show you but I assure you it's in there you can see it jammed if you look just right there you can see it in there and it's jammed in between one of the fins to read the APU temp. So then I had a way to, you know, monitor the temperature of the APU. And it was, you know, still about 135 degrees. So the one thing about flowing that I know from the Xbox 360s back in the day was you need to get fresh air in and get it out. So I got this fan back here. This is kind of like an intake fan. Um, it looks really cool. And uh, I wired that to the temperature gauge. The one thing you need to understand about this whole entire wiring schematic is that it is not powered by the Xbox. I bought a high, like a three amp, or I think it's a three or four amp power supply that uh, you can see that right there, that little project box that's mounted to the side of the Xbox and it has its own power because I didn't want to take from the power supply because I just didn't um, I wanted to do isolated power on my own circuit so because if that circuit ever fails you know I can buy another power supply off eBay for like 30 bucks who cares um, so basically it's a 12 volt power supply it comes in, this is a 12 volt fan. It is, this power supply is wired to this switch. I push in the switch, it turns on the LCD temperature gauge, this fan, and this controller. This is also a Noctua controller. I can increase the fan speed accordingly to what I want. And that is wired, you know, 12 volts from here because it comes with a SATA connector. It comes with a SATA connector with a yellow and a black wire yellow wire is 12 volts, the black wire is ground. Wire that to the switch as well. It powers the controller. <clears throat> and then this 
feeds into the fan right here. So I can increase the pulse width modulation signal and increase this fan speed. Just this one. This one runs steady all the time, just a regular 12 volt case fan for intake. Um, <clears throat> and I've noticed a dramatic decrease in the overall temps of the APU. And the thing is, is that <clears throat> when I first put this on, and then I put this fan in, and I was playing, I don't know, some Call of Duty game, and I would watch the temps on the gauge, I would see them run around 108 degrees. Well, now that I'm able to uh, control the speed of this fan, I can turn it up a little bit and it will keep the temps around like 90 degrees. Sometimes it spikes to 92, but it keeps it pretty cool. And keeping temps that low will increase the overall longevity of the console and incre increase the, uh, you know, the frames per second of gameplay because I don't care what you say when something starts getting warmer and warmer you're you struggle with FPS and it could drop down to 100 or 90 or if it, the console gets to 140 degrees or 135 the frames could drop to 80 and it doesn't matter what your console set at the hotter something gets the harder it struggles so this is why I did this and I'll show you how I set it up and uh, show you what it looks like when I power it up. Another thing that I did that I think is pretty cool is I don't have a normal headset with my Xbox. I use these. I use your standard Beats Wireless because that's just the uh, headphones that I like. Um, noise canceling. And then I made this. Most of the headsets you find are uh, not the greatest on the mics, and the quality just isn't great. So, I made this. Basically, this plugs into the controller. goes inside of here. This red wire plugs into the beats. See? And then, this piece is an output for the mic. And the mic that I chose, well, the quality is pretty good, is your standard Sony lapel mic. I just clip it on my shirt. It's pretty nice. So the one thing you have to understand is you have to turn this on before you turn this on. So one of the fallbacks of this setup is that I do not have auto on. Uh, updates I download when I have the console on and not I don't don't do it automatically so I turn it on and then I turn on the console so <clears throat> Let's first say I'm just uh, watching a movie or something. I can keep it on this setting because it doesn't like struggle, make the APU struggle very much. But when you start getting into a crazy game and you have, I don't know, 100 zombies chasing you like a herd or something, the temperature usually goes up on, on the Xbox Ones. So I take this little knob right here, and I turn it up. And with the noise canceling headphones, I can hear it. It's not very loud. I think it's 29 decibels. And it's not an ultra quiet console, but I would rather, you know, give a little bit of white noise for a console running great and very smooth than to have an ultra quiet console that's glitchy as hell. What? So you can see the temp. It also keeps the hard drive cool. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys like my setup.